First up, John Bachman, a nurse who's been held in isolation in New Jersey after treating Ebola patients in West Africa is headed home soon. Casey Hickox is going to be allowed out of that special tent where she's been monitored in Newark after going symptom free for 24 hours. New Jersey officials say she'll still be under the rules of the state's 21 day quarantine while in New Jersey, but will be transported back to her home state of Maine. No word yet on what Maine officials will do when she arrives there. And the man in charge of the U.S. fight against ISIS is calling on our allies to step it up. Retired General John Allen, tapped by the White House to coordinate the fight against the terror group, is in Kuwait today. He highlighted the dangers the Islamic State poses to countries in the region and beyond. They seek to portray themselves as winners, true leaders worthy of financial support that attracts and radicalizes foreign fighters. Well, Allen says everyone involved from the U.S. and the U.K. to the Gulf states have a unique and vital role to play to defeat ISIS. And some of the most recent polling is moving in the direction Republicans need it to so they can recapture control of the Senate. A new Marist NBC News poll shows GOP candidates taking a slight lead in several key states, including Arkansas, Colorado, and Iowa. The Senate races are also very tight in places like Alaska, Louisiana, and North Carolina. Republicans need to pick up at least six seats to become the majority. And in Georgia, the race for the Senate there is also very close. During last night's debate, Democrat Michelle Nunn blasted Republican David Perdue on his business record, especially for outsourcing jobs. But Perdue fired back with this. Now, as you support Obamacare, Common Core, higher taxes, amnesty, and the economic policies that have failed and actually generated more people out of work right now than any time since Jimmy Carter was in president, um, isn't a vote for you just a vote for Barack Obama? Well, none, of course, disagree, and she said she's only spent a total of about 45 minutes with the president. The latest poll shows Purdue and none in a virtual dead heat. And as the World Series continues, baseball fans have been rocked by the death of a star in the making. Cardinals outfielder Oscar Tavares was killed over the weekend in a car accident in his native Dominican Republic. Authorities say the 22-year-old lost control of his car as it flew off the road. He's been ranked as one of the top prospects in all of baseball, and just a couple of weeks ago hit a home run in the National League Championship Series against the Giants. And a Methodist priest defrocked after performing his son's gay marriage is being allowed to stay in the church. The church council has ruled today that Frank Schaefer will be allowed to stay even after refusing last year to say that he would never perform another same-sex marriage. The Methodist church officially rejects same-sex marriage. And dozens of people in Hawaii are being warned that they may have to evacuate because of this lava that's flowing and oozing across the countryside on the big island of Hawaii. It's been flowing since this summer, but now it's just a couple of yards away from some homes in the town of Pahoa. Evacuations, mandatory evacuations may start as soon as tomorrow. Another update for you in 30 minutes. I'm John Bachman. Now back to Midpoint.